Well, today's the day, isn't it, chums? Today's the day that 4.0 graces our consoles and other platforms. Let's get these lights on as well, shall we? Boom! Then there was light. Lovely. Anyhow, so 4.0, what do we know? Well, what I know so far, people, could be considered as being spoilers. So if you want to wait for the patch notes and the official line on all this stuff, because at the moment it's pretty much guesswork and what we're seeing from PC players and what they've shared so far. But uh, since I'm not going to be firing up my PC to actually be testing this and I'm waiting for the PS5 version before I do any content, I figured I'd put out something for you guys if you're not using Twitter and if you're not seeing all these spoilers. So yeah, if you don't want to see spoilers, I would strongly suggest diverting your eyeballs now, because we're jumping in. Heck yes. Righto, so I'm over on the Twitter space over here. So let's uh, scroll on down. Hopefully this is nice and big for you. Let's see if we can make it a tad bigger. Oh, that's, that's that's pretty nice. Okay, I'm heading down here. So launch day. I put tell that to France. I mean, they've had this for like the last three or four days, haven't they? But let's face it, it's not really 4.0 that they've had. It, it's kind of like what we've currently got. So they haven't really spoiled anything for anybody out there in the view of us. But now this is actually out on Steam, which means PC players have got a little bit of a head start yet again on everybody else outside in the view of us and we haven't quite yet got the patch notes it looks like we can actually change the names of our save files and look it even shows where you last were aboard the space anomaly on a planet pretty darn freaking nice i'm liking that that's pretty darn groovy I like this new background as well very atlas -esque, isn't it it's very cool Scrolling down a bit further, the Atlas has had a bit of an overhaul in the way that it looks. Does look pretty darn freaking epic now, doesn't it? Look at that. How cool is that? Yeah, let's, let's have a look at the next one. Pretty darn cool. It has more of a fluidy type look to it, doesn't it? Righto, and I like the effects around it. Here we go. So we haven't got the patch notes, but this is like a mini summary of patch notes. So we now know it's called No Man's Sky Waypoint. Now, you know, I thought it might be called Odyssey or um, pretty much what else did I get? Horizons and other people going for discoveries, things like that. Waypoint is what it's called. No Man's Sky Waypoint brings a vast array of new features. For full details, see nomansky.com. We'll go over there in a moment, people. There's nothing there the last time I checked, which was just before I fired up this video. Introducing an overhaul to fundamental elements, including inventories, milestones, cataloging, and game modes. Custom game mode allows players to tailor every aspect of the game to their unique play style. The catalog has been refreshed and expanded and now includes records of the core missions and stories. Journey milestones have been expanded to improve the additional guidance for new players. Saves can now be renamed and auto-saving is more frequent to constantly preserve progress. Awesome. Inventory sizes are now much larger and have been streamlined for ease of use. Hundreds of quality of life improvements, big and small, have been made across the game. Hello Games has been hard working to improve and expand No Man's Sky. Hope you enjoy. Thanks so much. Hello Games. Well, thank you. Hello Games. Thank you very much indeedy doody. Scrolling down, you'll see there's some other graphical improvements. I mean, this looks pretty darn freaking nice, doesn't it? That sort of like cloud layer almost looks like a little pond there. I'm loving that. I wish we had those mist effects. More so on the swamp planets over sort of the vegetation and stuff. That would be pretty gnarly. And yeah, even here, we've got the same sort of mist effect going on there. Quite nice. I don't think there's anybody frequenting this kiosk over here, though. Yet yeah, is there. No, that's been dormant for... Freaking eons! I wonder if we're going to get anything to do with the um, station override in this update, people. Only time will tell. Okay, so here's some of the UI changes, and you can see here it's got a lovely purple colour. Yeah, Jason Plays is going to love this, I think, isn't he? He loves Pepe. Right, okay, so there's lots of different settings that you can do here, and it's just a case of just, you know, clickety click, clickety -click, click, and you can sort of tailor this experience to however you want, really, when it comes to settings and your play style. So, pretty nice, quite nice awesome quite happy with that and again there's some more going on here too as well save deleted what the fudge death consequences oh okay so we can actually brilliant i like i like this a lot scan recharging damage levels let's make that bigger for you there you go i don't think there's one to not have a starting ship is there 
<laughs> I think a few people would have liked that if there was, but sadly, I'm not seeing it in any of these menus. But I have skipped for it quite quick, so it could be there somewhere. So have a quick look, see, have a butchers of your own. This is the main tile set, and yes, it's been reshaped. We've only got three tiles here now, and you're probably thinking, where's survival, Captain Steve? It's over here at the bottom there, right underneath custom. You've also got community expedition, and look, it says here, no community expedition is currently available. Be sure to check back soon. I was kind of hoping that, you know, now Nintendo Switch has joined us, maybe you hit this tile and it comes up with all the previous ones, the back catalogue or something when it comes to expeditions so you can rerun them at choice and at leisure. No, that's not there, but hopefully we might get something like that over Christmas to rerun. They did the previous year. Hopefully they follow that same pattern. But we've got this new tile here, relaxed mode. And look at that lovely little icon. It looks like it belongs on toilet roll. Awesome. Okay, well, that's the new mode that I'm going to be hitting up and doing a playthrough on, this new relaxed mode. Yeah, kind of cool. Right now, what else is there? We've got a trade rocket in action. Yes, trade rocket in action. So it looks like while you're on planet surfaces, if your inventory is getting a bit full, you load this little kitty up. It's got 25 slots on the thing. I guess you craft it or something. And uh, yeah, launch it into space to sell for a shed load of freaking units. I think this is going to be really, really good for... Um, if you're like on a planet with ancient bones or you've just done an ancient bones mission or you're going around getting a load of salvage tech, you can just chuck it all into here, fire it into space and become rich. Heck yes, that could be quite cool. Or even if you're at a stasis farm, farm, you know, I don't know whether it's going to crash the economy. And that's something to test, isn't it? But it does look quite gnarly. I quite like the look of that. Very nice little implementation, which could keep you on the planet's surface and exploring for longer without feeling the need to go to a galactic trade terminal. So I'm liking that. Now, there's a lot of other UI changes to menus here, as you can see here. Yeah, it looks pretty darn freaking nice, doesn't it? More compact, probably going to be a little bit tedious to get through when you first get into it. But I'm sure that once you get used to it, it's going to be far better than what it was previously. I like this collected knowledge area. So I was watching Moose Gaming play in earlier today. I'll put a link in the top right hand corner if you want to see that, but that's PC footage and he goes into this quite extensively. I was in the live chat asking him to click on stuff and he did. So thank you Moose for the heads up. Very nice. So there's all sorts going on here. I mean, this is like other history and journal records. So in here we can capture all the sorts of lore that we've come across. So I love all this sort of stuff. This is going to be very good for when I'm doing sort of like lore reanalysis or jumping back into the lore and trying to dig in a little bit to find what might be coming into future iterations and things like that. If we're going by lore. So very nice. Yeah, I was hoping to see a little bit more to go on with the sort of relationships that you have with the different alien races and whether that might affect trade in systems. I mean, this has all been overhauled, but has that actually done anything physically inside of the universe? Again, this is something we need to test to see if it has or hasn't, but I'm gonna say probably it hasn't. But yes, it does look a lot better aesthetically. I was kind of hoping to see, you've got technology here, you've got cargo there, which is pretty cool, but I was hoping to see stats from whatever you've got with the actual technology appearing here. Now before we had cargo and we had expanded cargo, it seems the expanded cargo has vanished on this and we've just got cargo and technology. Now I did see a starship screen when Moose was playing and there I think it only had something like cargo and general and I couldn't see technology. So I'm a little bit worried that all the technology in my ships may have vanished, meaning that all that hard work that I put into them might have been for no real reason. But I need to do some checking. I definitely want to check my living ship to see if that's got the organ chamber still, because if not, that's pretty much nerfed that ship. Anyhow, I need to do more testing, so don't take that as gospel. However, that said, I have had a comment on one of my videos to say, Captain Steve, all the technology has been has now missing from my ship. So it could be a thing. It might not be a thing. It might be hidden. You've got all these sort of icons down the side here. I think all these icons down the side here, though, all they do is filter your actual... Um, or what it is, your inventory space by whatever you click on. So if you click on this, it's all the crafted products. If you click on that, it's all the ones you've found in the wild and technology products, etc. Just to find things a little bit easier. But yeah, I don't know whether it's got an auto sort feature. Again, I need to have a little play around, but it's looking nicer. It's looking cleaner. 
but yeah there we go so here's some settings that you go through there's like a little video here just showing what what's what which is pretty nice for people to share out so if you do want to see all this sort of stuff just jump over to my twitter space i'm trying to share out everything that i can that's relevant this base looks freaking epic this is done by um crisscross apple sauce we went and viewed a couple of his bases the other week but yeah he's tried to make it look like the realm of glass <laughs> pretty darn freaking epic yeah so there we go that's what i've got for you there but i have got more for you because Kurt, the maker of the No Man's Sky app, he's quite good at jumping into the game files and he's quite good at stripping out anything that's new or been added. So here's the icon for that tech rocket that fires off. Now there's one folder in here that I want to jump into to show you. I mean, there's no expedition, oh there is an expedition folder, but when you go inside the expedition folder, all it's got is these Atlas passes. So there's Atlas Pass 5. Atlas Pass 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 interesting stuff but um you know the atlas passes that we've got now they don't really do too much do they so we'll have to see if there is an additional atlas pass coming into verse only time will tell if you go into the quicksilver folder this is where things get rather interesting so there's ships going to be appearing as quicksilver items but you see here it says twitch so these are going to be twitch drops so at some stage they're going to be doing the twitch packs again there's web fireworks as well which i'd imagine are probably going to be around halloweeny time you know Anyhow, scrolling down, we've got a new Twitch pet, another Twitch pet, and a Twitch sort of multi-tool. So Twitch drops, I think, are definitely on the cards. And there's a special Twitch firework as well. So, interesting. Yeah, so that one just says Web Firework Pack 4. This one says Special Twitch Firework. So I don't know whether that's just limited to the Twitch drops, but Twitch drops look like they might be back on the cards. Now we've also got special Switch ship, so this looks like it might be just for the Nintendo Switch, I could be wrong, and also a Switch multi-tool. Yeah, special Switch gun. So yeah, I'm wondering whether Switch players will start with a different type of Rasa and a different type of gun for Nintendo Switch players. Okay, there's also a special helmet, now this looks freaking awesome over there i mean it's called the solar space helm so you can see here it's got like almost got the solar panels on the side there like the solar ships have and it looks very retro-esque doesn't it it looks pretty darn freaking cool i'm not gonna lie i want that i do want that and we've got loads of other twitch ships there and, and uh, the things that we've already seen but that does look awesome that helmet looks freaking great and i think it might be a quicksilver item i don't think this is an expedition item there's a lot of files that can't actually be accessed at the moment they're coming up as blank and uh, yeah i think they've got to wait for the mbin compiler or something before they can actually really pad this stuff out with everything that's inside the game files but at the moment there's not much else to be had in here there's a couple of mission markers and things that may be slightly different but there we go um so if i did find anything more tantalizing i will be sharing but me and kurt should be doing the 1616 podcast this sunday to go over everything else that's been found in the game files at that point in time and also hopefully we'd have the patch notes by then which really i ought to go and check now to see if we've got the patch notes there let's go and have a quick look no man's sky the game let's jump on over there and into no man's sky let's see if the patch notes are up now menu we go to a release log but they weren't just before i started this they still aren't now let's just check in the news just in case release log news top news and no, there's nothing on side the No Man's Sky website now, but as soon as there is, I'll probably do another one of these videos when we go through the patch notes. But for now, they're all of the pre-spoilers. That's everything that we've been seeing from the, uh, from the actual PC players that managed to get this early. They had it about three hours ago. Lucky devils, you, you lucky, lucky devils. So yeah, that's everything I know that I've seen inside of the verse. Some of this could be incorrect at the time of airing because I haven't been able to test this myself. So there we go, people. Hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, you've all been freaking awesome. Heck yes, you have. Yes. So yeah, like I say, the 1616 podcast this Sunday will be at 1616. So that's 4.16 p.m. UK time.
Yes, UK time. Check Google for your own time zones to find out when that is. But I'll be going live with Kurt and we also take call-ins. So if you've got things to say about this latest update, be sure to hit us up on Discord. Jump on over and join us as long as you've got a headset and you can talk to us. Oh, even if you've got a webcam, you can put on some video. That'd be lovely to see you. And until next time, people, I think we're pretty much done, aren't we? So, yeah, that's everything from me. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye and goodbye again.